Football Club D, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Formula One Manager 2022. It's time to run the French Grand Prix. Now we're in the middle of setup. Uh, I've picked out the the race targets, checked all the emails. Uh, we've still got a few parts in development. Some are being researched, some are being tested, some are being manufactured. But the problem is, we still have 11 races to go, including this one, and the cars are pretty beat up. That they are. So, what we're going to have to do is, because Pierre has two pretty much dud engines. They're going to be low on power, they've been well used. Some of them took damage because of incidents or crashes that he was in. So what I'm doing is for practice and qualifying, we're using the sort of older engines uh, to reduce some of the wear and tear, uh, reduce some of the wear and tear on the last engine that we have. And it's bad. It's real bad. Now as far as the ERS goes, yeah, this one's quite low. It's 34%, but we could probably push that out for another race. But we are basically at the halfway point. I think there's 23 races, 11 races to go, including this one. So, yeah, I don't know if... See, these gearboxes are both shot. But I'm hoping these two are whichever one, 29%, 26%. Yeah, so I might just use older gearboxes. Right, install on car one. Uh, just for practice and qualifying. And then try and save the life of these ones. And it's the same for the ERS, right? So, yeah, let's install that on car one. Just for practice, for qualifying, we'll change everything back. Uh, and you've already got like a sort of dud engine. So it's not running a massively great car right now. We'll do the same with Yuki. So uh, your engine is on this one. So he's still running on engine two, which is really nice. And we'll probably use that for the race. The 16% one is a little low. I'll just keep it on that engine five for the moment. The ERS, I think I've changed, yeah, we're back to using this sort of dud one, just for practice. And the gearbox, yeah, this one still has 44%, so we're going to change back to that one. Okay. So, engine number six. Installing car two. No, 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 no. You're still running that one. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, 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 and let's go. So, they're running pretty dud setups for qualifying. The new front wing, AT22FW3, completion in 13 days. That's going to be nice. The new chassis is going to be complete. They're not going to massively increase or help in any sort of way because it's too late. Uh, plus I didn't do the testing phase, the aerodynamic testing phase properly, so there's very little performance gain. There is a tiny bit, just not enough. Right, so the practice, I will do the practice again and then we'll come back in qualifying and you guys will rejoin then. So I will see you then. Okay, so welcome back. Now... Practice went pretty good. Uh, this is the best set of confidence I've had <coughs> in ages. Now, that being said, they were running on... Yeah, so all car parts are fitted. That's great. We're going to change these. Uh, so we went... Yeah, so engine number one is taking a beating because we're using it for practice, right? So we're going to install that on there. That's great. Uh, ERS number two, we're going to install that on there. But yeah, doing this, I should have been doing this from the start. Uh, perhaps maybe saving some stuff. These gearboxes have seen better day, but we'll go with gearbox numero three on that. And then he's all sort of good to go. Goodish. 
Uh, we need to do the same for Yuki because he's running the quite terrible parts as well. You are going to run this engine 38%. In fact, he is running it now. Yeah, he's going to have to run that for another race. But we'll get this installed on here. That's awesome. And the gearbox, yeah, so Yuki's car is not that great, we'll see. But it's going to have to do for another race. It's got minor wear and tear. That's fine. Okay, right. So I did actually use two sets of soft tires here. Uh, so these were definitely mine. There's no sort of phantom half used ones that there was. Also used a set of mediums and set of hards. Uh, and we got them up to 100% track confidence, which was really good. Now, I think the cars are good. Now, their best practice times were really bad. They were 19th and 20th out of everyone, respectfully. But I wasn't going for fast times. I was just trying to get track acclimatization up and car setup confidence up as well. So we did that, whilst also trying to save some tires for later. Right, so manage qualifying, yes, please, and thank you. Right, so let's get in it. Let's see how we radio go. Check, Yuki, radio check. Yeah, radio check. Yeah, we're all good. Someone's going out. He's going out straight away. I'm going out straight away. Now, Pierre Gasly is from France, so I'm kind of hoping he's got a decent amount of time on this circuit. You know what? I'm going to send Yuki out as well. Because they are on fresh tyres. That's weird. Unless I heard the sound of the car taking off, but it might have been this car in front, who is... Ocon. That's fine. Right, let's uh, speed it up. They're going to do their flying lap. Uh, we're looking for other cars coming out of the pits here. I'm hoping Pierre is going to be okay. Uh, I'm hoping Yuki's going to be okay as well. He uh, Getting his car set up up. His car confidence up. Was really quite something. Because he's normally quite low... Around about 62, 65, 70 at the max. The fact that I managed to get up to 82, which is even better than Pierre's car confidence, was absolutely astounding. I did not think that possible. However, we're learning new things. Uh, there's a 10% chance of rain. Should I be bothered about a 10% chance of rain? Maybe. Right, so they're on their lap now. Let's see how they get on. Now, Yuki is the one with the sort of dud engine, and we'll have to keep an eye on that during the race. Hopefully, it'll last till the end. That'll be the last time we sort of use that engine. We'll probably just use it in uh, sort of practice, etc. See, this will be a big shocker for everyone on the grid, because Gasly and Tsunoda were last in practice so if they can shoot up the grid here that'll be nice now drs is available for qualifying i noticed it was also available on uh, practice yeah this track looks not the flattest it looks a bit lumpy and bumpy <laughs> Here's Gasly coming down towards the Finito line. Let's see what Alcon's time was. If we can sort of stay with his time, that would be really nice. Oh man, it's an interesting last section there. And then on the power, ooh, that sounded bad. Shouldn't sound bad. Across the line. Uh, ooh, so close. So very, 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 very close. Now, I would imagine Yuki's going to be a little bit longer than that. Yeah, one second behind, which is not massively competitive, but 
He did the lop. They they basically did their lops unimpeded. Which is nice. Right, back into the pit lane we go. Now I am going to reconfigure these. And you are going to get a, a new set. Are you going to get a new set? Or do we just keep him in the old set? You know what? I'm not going to do the configuration for this at the moment. We're going to let it play through and see what everyone's times are. Oh, yeah. Yuki's looking real bad. It could be that his engine is quite bad. Uh, Magnuson locked up in turn 7, so he's going to have a real poor lap now. Gasly was in 7th, and I just really, all I need him to do, you know what, let's just go for it. Right, so you're getting a new set of tires. Uh, where is Yuki? You're also going to get a new set of tires. And confirm, and away we go. And we'll wait for the sort of... Everyone should be going out shortly, though. So I'll set this down to four times speed. Uh, there you go. Everyone is going. Let's make sure our guys don't get left behind. Gazza's out. Yuki's out. Stroll and Hamilton are behind. And let's go. Right, let's get them through their sort of warm-up lap. Yeah, they're still, it almost looks like they're cutting it close, but there is still always plenty of time. Yeah. Right, so there is... Gasly. Yuki should be behind him. He is. Now it's okay, Yuki. You only have to suffer with that dud engine for one more race. All right, there is the beautiful DRS. Let me see. Yeah, the engine's at 38%. That's not heaps. It's not a massive amount, but it's not mega disastrous either. Right, round we go. Who's crossed the line first? Leclerc is up in second thus far. Uh, is it going to do this dumb thing where it asks us, if, is, asks, if, asks us if we want to pit? I think it is. No, it didn't. Didn't ask us this time. So Gasly is still in 7th, which is fine. I guess he's actually moved up on Ocon there. Oh, he's back down to 8th. Ha, <laughs> Yuki just made it in. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. Uh, so driver eliminated. Our Yukes is gone. Lewis Hamilton got an exclamation mark. Grid penalty. Ooh. And Pierre Gasly is in eighth. Yeah, we're staying above the rest of this. Is there anyone up here that shouldn't be? Nah, this is all above board. There's no random teams like Haas or anything that are shooting up ahead. Right, so we have a driver eliminated, but it means Yuki can maybe do like a weird three stop strategy. Oh, I had soft tires. Now, what have you got? Now, hold the fort here, because you're going to go out on these. Just in case he makes it into Q3. Okay. You're going to go out with them, unfortunately. Uh, manage qualifying two. Yep, let's get into it. Now, we've only got one car to focus on here, but... 
Ready check? Doesn't really matter because we only ever focus on one car anyway. Ready check? Okay. Ready <clears> check? Okay. Alright, qualifying two started. Normal qualifying two conditions apply. Right, let's speed it up. First car is off. It's Mick Schumacher. And then we are off. More cars seem to be leaving. Right, if we can get out before Hamilton, that would be spectacular. Looks like we did. So that's nice. Right, who are we gaining on? No, no, the, this Alpine is miles away, so I don't think we're going to catch them. What was everyone's tire choice? Yeah, everyone went with brand new. Alonso went with mediums. So I'd imagine that they are possibly running short on <laughs> uh, soft tires, which might be beneficial for us. Right, so here is Gasly approaching the finish line. Now, there was the Haas in front of us. Mick Schumacher did a 133.409. We did a. I've no idea. We did a. Now, we are not on you, Softs. A 133, 150. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Right, let's speed it up. Yeah, Perez. Oh my god. We weren't that far off of Perez there. Uh, we were a fair bit off of uh, Verstappen there. Unfortunate. Uh, I would imagine the Ferraris are going to knock us down a peg. Right, he's in. Reconfigure you for you're going to get them for the section. Confirm. Now, I've been keeping track of the tires. Everyone has been using. So I just want to check something. Now we're going on in the 100%. Oh man, Gasly might not have made it out there. I wasn't paying attention. He's still in seventh. It would just be a severe waste of tires if he didn't. He actually made it past the line. Okay. There is the checkered flag. What's everybody running here? Yeah, so they've run two sets of... Most teams have run two sets of full soft tires in this period. And they run a set of softs. Pretty much every team. In, uh, in qualifying number one. I would say the only person who didn't was Alonso. So that means in qualifying three, basically no one should have a full set of soft tires. But I guarantee you they will have. I guarantee you every one of these teams will have an extra set of soft tires. Right, so where did we actually qualify there? I did not see. We're still in 7th. I think we were in 8th, so we possibly moved up. A section. We were so close to Sergio Perez in that first one. Yeah, Q1. 933, so we are getting faster. 
which is nice. Okay, let's go to qualifying three. I do have a brand new set of soft tires. I thought these were reserved for the race. Right, you're on 88. You are also on 88. Use these ones. Uh, ah, yes, okay. So everyone gets that last set of tires. Okay, I get it. I get it. Now you're in seventh. Let's start the qualifying. I'll maybe try and save a set of soft tires for Gasly for the race. Right, manage qualifying, yes, please. Thank you. The radio is good. You can hear me, yeah? Uh, yeah, can hear you. Right, someone is going out. Everyone is going out. There we go, looking good. Ish. <laughs> right, and then these guys are going to take flight. Off he goes, off he goes, off we go. <laughs> Pretty neat that. Quite like that. Right, so. Round we go. What's everyone's sport? And everyone's got 100%. Everyone's went for that new shiny tires. That new car smell. Or that new tire smell. I am going to try and run this. On the used tires. Right, who's this in front of us? It's a Ferrari. Yeah, it looks like me behind there. How fast is this thing compared to us? Probably a lot. Sounds way different as well. Off we go. We're almost there. We've almost completed our lap. <coughs> Red Bull's going to be heading over now. 131, 530. That's 0.299 off. We were, wow, one whole second above. I guess it's because we were on those tires, right? Yeah, Alcorn moved up in front of us. Magnussen is still behind. Now, I kind of want Magnussen and Bottas to be behind. Uh, because we often get stuck vying for position with them in the race. And the Haas, the Alpha Tauri, and the, the Alpha Romeo are... Pretty evenly matched thus far. Yes, yeah, so we've bet them. That is nice. That was on a set of basically used tires. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use up these ones for number three. Everyone else should be on them as well. Unless they've got a hidden spear set which I don't have yeah we are actually looking pretty good here we are actually looking pretty good here our tires have more life in them than everyone else's I guess it was that first qualifying lap that is probably going to make all the difference 
All right, so we are off once more. Another Ferrari in front. See if we can make up a bit of time here. No one's probably going to improve in their time. Or maybe they will. They might. I mean, Gasly's so close to Ocon there. It would be nice if we could just sort of tip him over the edge. Now, if Bottas and Magnussen come up, right, so Magnussen is staying where he is, that's nice. Uh, what is the first corner here? It's a left hander. <clears throat> so I kind of want to be start on the left hand side of the grid. Bottas finished as well. Everyone was the same, nothing changed. He did the exact same lap time. Well, that's pretty, pretty nuts. <laughs> I mean, it definitely improved. A 961, oh no, this was less because the new tires were significantly better. So if I'd put new tires on him, he still would not have bet that, probably, I'm assuming. Okay, though, let's continue. But now I have... It's race day. It sure is. But we'll do race day tomorrow, obviously. Yeah, I could go on hards. I'd like to possibly switch that around. Uh, what do I have tire wise? Yeah, just these. So hards and then softs. Could be, could be interesting. What do you have tire wise? You've got two whole sets. It's a shame you can't give another set to another driver. No, I would do him mediums, softs, and then softs. I mean, it's 53 laps. Is there something we can do here? I mean, we can't send them out on two sets of soft, right? No way. Unless I do 15 laps, 15 laps, and then 20 odd on... So they're saying 31, 32, 33. Yeah, they're saying 20 laps on them. Yeah, I might do a different strategy for Yuki. But that is it for the French Grand Prix qualifying eighth. We probably may have been able to do better. Uh, but two different dry compounds and at least one mandatory compound. Wait. Ah. Wait, so what's the mandatory compound? So if it's got a star next to it, it's mandatory. This is a mandatory compound. You must use at least one mandatory compound during a race. But if I do this... Is this not also a mandatory compound? 
I guess it is. Okay, okay, okay. Right, I get I get But yeah, we'll leave it there. Uh, tomorrow will be a race day, so I shall see you then. But that's been it for me. I've been Danny Men. This has been Formula One t Manager 2022. And I will catch you later.